Hi everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back once again to my channel. So today I have another kind of vlog for you guys. I know I've had a lot of vlogs up the past couple of weeks, but you guys do seem to be enjoying them and I'm really enjoying filming them and, and making them for you. I just think that while we're here and traveling and exploring Europe, it's quite cool to be able to show you guys what like an average day is like whenever we wake up in the van and go do some exploring. So today we woke up in a campsite. So we got here last night. It's a lovely campsite, really, really good facilities. It has a shower that you can actually just leave on, which is amazing. There's no coins, buttons, it's like absolute dream. And as we were coming in, we met an English couple who are also doing some van living. They have literally just the higher roof version of our Ford Transit. Their van is beautiful color. Um, I'll give you guys a little peek here before we go. I can't show you inside because they've left. I'll maybe ask them if I can do that later or something. They're really, really nice people. Their van is absolutely, like it's the color that I want our van to be, to be honest, it's like my dream van color. And yeah, so today we are just outside of Valencia in this campsite. We've got some tickets to go in, explore the city, and there's some really, really cool stuff there that I just thought it would be really cool to document and show you guys. But as always, before I dive into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you guys know I always really, really appreciate it. And with that, let's go and do some exploring. So this is the campsite that we're staying at. And obviously this is our van. And look, their beautiful van. It's so, so pretty. Small it is. That was for the cats. There's a little teeny tiny porch. There's pictures in the windows. So we we're like wandering around Valencia and we noticed like all this street art everywhere and it seems to be like a really popular thing here and I'm like I don't know why but I'm a massive fan of graffiti especially when it's done like really really well like this and we were just passing a tour guide who was saying that it's like actually really really well tolerated in the city because it's like a community thing and loads of people come down and become part of it so it's like almost part of the city now and there's some really 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 cool art and I'll throw a couple of videos in now of like the places that we've passed. show you guys how we actually find all the interesting spots in the cities and it's like super super easy we go to a website called atlas obscura i'll leave it linked below but i'll show you now how we use it we are obviously in valencia so valencia and we can just check like all the cool things usually it'll give you free stuff if it's stuff that's paid you can check it so we have obviously ticked off the cat house i don't think we're going to go to gulliver park just because it's so far out of the way and we obviously seen the art, street art, so this is just a cool way of exploring a city without having to spend a fortune. So we literally just found out that, that the Chapel of the Holy Grail, it's one of the cups they think is in the running for the Holy Grail, is like six minutes walk away. So I think we're gonna go head there and see that. They turned it into a park so it literally runs like the whole way down along the city.
hasn't happened. Um, you put us on the wrong tram. <laughs> no, I didn't. I put us on the right tram and we got off at the wrong stop. No, <laughs> the tram stopped and you said, right, we need to go and get on this tram, which we didn't. We needed to go and get on the other tram <laughs> again. And then I asked the lady where Horde Bay was and she didn't she put us on the wrong tram. It's all good, but this is like she Holland. Was the tram lady? This is this is like Holland all over again where you, you you should I press stop? And then we ended up riding three different buses with two different companies for a total of like three hours travel. So I think I think I'm gonna have to start doing this bit myself. <laughs> just 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 because I I mean I like trams and that and trains and they're great, but I don't know. I'm a bit I'm a bit suspicious of, of your motives here. You just like riding in trains more than you're telling me. So we have just returned from Valencia. We're back in our van in the campsite and I think now I have a bit of editing to do so I'm gonna get my MacBook out and do a little bit of editing for the channel. One of the videos that you've probably already seen by now and then I think tea will maybe hang out with our friends across the way a little bit but for now also check out this adorable little magnet I got from Valencia. I think I've shown you guys before. I collect like a little magnet from a little place. So look, it's so cute. It's a tiny little mug. So I am currently sorting through all of this lovely footage to get a bit of a vlog together while Aaron is cooking dinner. As always. As always. But I don't know if I'm going to get this finished because our voltage is like a bit low. And my laptop's running dead. So I am an absolute idiot. I forgot for a minute that we're at a campsite and you can actually take things to plugs and plug them in and charge stuff. It's something that you kind of forget about whenever you've been living in the van for quite a while. So basically all I did there was went and sat and charged my laptop while I did the dishes and sat a little bit longer just to charge it up. So um, I'm actually not feeling really great at the minute. I don't know if it's like indigestion or something I've eaten today or whatever. And I'm quite tired from walking around. So I think what we're going to do is get the bed out, get into bed and I'll maybe do about another hour or so of editing and that'll hopefully nearly finish that video so I can upload it tomorrow while we have Wi-Fi here at the campsite rather than eating into my data and all that stuff. But I just want to let you guys know I have like so many videos and so many ideas coming to this channel that I just know you guys are really really gonna enjoy. A couple next door are really really kind and I said to them earlier, I was like it's cool if you say no but would I be able to film a video or a van? So I have, they said yes absolutely no problem which was so so kind so I have a van tour of their van coming up. Obviously a couple more vlogs and um, we're going to do this Don Quixote trail on the way up back home which might be of interest to you guys. Let me know in the comments. I always really really appreciate your feedback but basically it's like follows the trail of the fictional character Don Quixote which is obviously a really famous novel. We're talking about doing that as our last kind of trek on the way home which in other news our trip is cut a little bit short. We were planning to be out to basically the end of December but due to a medical appointment, don't worry everybody's fine, we are going to have to head home in about two and a half weeks now so a lot earlier than we thought so unfortunately we're not going to make it on this leg of the trip quite as far south as like Portugal but we will be back here next year hopefully because our friends are moving to Portugal buying land we're going to go meet them give them a hand have a look at that obviously I'll hopefully film some of that then let me know in the comments what you guys are enjoying what you want from this channel I know a couple of people have asked like to see things how the bed works but also don't worry about heading home like whenever I head home I have so much footage still to upload over the last couple of months I also have big plans for this van we're going to redo some stuff, repaint some stuff and we have some like secret little things in the background that I'm really really excited to share with you guys so like even though the this trip is ending, this van life journey is very very much continuing and we will be continuing that at home. I have some big plans for Northern Ireland next year that I'm really hoping to get you guys on board with which may or may not include a van life meetup which would be super super cool but uh, yeah I'm in the process of working all that stuff out and obviously that takes time so I'll let you guys know about that too and yeah just loads of exciting stuff in the works and I'm actually super super excited for 2020 even though the trips got sh cut short uh, I'm not too disheartened like I know we're going to be back to see the bits that we miss and I'm actually really really excited to get home to see Pebbles I haven't had Pebbles is my chihuahua who is like 
my little BFF, like she is my buddy and my pal and I have really, really missed her on my trip. She has stayed with my parents who also have a chihuahua so she's been having a great time. We FaceTimed, all that kind of stuff but I'm just so excited to get home to her and have her more on the channel and feature her. She is the pebbles to my peach. I just have so much stuff to do and so much stuff coming up and I'm really, really excited. So I am totally not disheartened about the trip ending shorter at all. If anything, I'm just excited to get stuck in and do all this stuff that um, like I was just talking to you guys about. So yes, all that is to come. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Went off on a little bit of a tangent there. I'm gonna go finish up this video. But thank you if you've made it to this far in the video. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. I always really, really appreciate it. As well as if you guys would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yes, I guess I will see you guys on the next upload very, very soon. Bye guys. I'll raise a glass to you And you'll raise a glass to me and when they're half full, we'll top them up.